Hello everybody and welcome back to Paranormal Activity. I have a challenge ahead of me because Mike is planning to release the release the next patch of Paranormal Activity in about a week. And I've still got to beat the game with two weapons, that's a rocket launcher and the M14. Now, they're not the hardest weapons to beat the game with and it's not super rare to see them in the shop, but nevertheless I could still get unlucky enough to fail this challenge. Uh, and I'm going to start as the Gilead today. In fact, let's get started right now while I begin to talk. Uh, but yeah, I, I need to make this happen because... Oh god! Oh my god, okay. Okay, I've already taken damage. Fantastic. That's that's good. Uh, but yeah, like I don't, I don't want the new patch to come out before I've beaten the game with every weapon because then, you know, the, the rules change because there's new items, there's new... There's a new element of difficulty to the game. There's, there's. Oh god, don't get caught under there. Thank you. There's, there's new. Um, there's like traps and stuff being added and all sorts of craziness. And um, it kind of, it doesn't feel like I've completed the challenge as much because you know, it might be easier, it might be harder, and you could argue that I beat the game with most weapons while it was easier, or I beat the game with the, these two weapons after it became easier, or, or whatever it may be. I just want to beat the game in this patch with all the weapons, so I don't have long left to do that. So um, yeah, I need to make sure this happens. If, if it gets towards the end of the week and it hasn't happened, like say it's the weekend or something, I'm, I'm just going to have to stream this game, I think, and, and make it happen on, on stream, because it needs to happen, quite honestly. And... I'm gonna, I'll be damned if it doesn't happen, so uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna continue looking for the shop here on this first floor. Maybe we'll get lucky and find one of these weapons on the first floor, although I'm not sure if I'll be able to afford it, if that's the case. Also, I'm not sure if the music's louder than normal. It feels like it is, so I'm sorry if I'm maybe shouting a little bit, but it sounds like the volume's louder. I'm actually just gonna go into the options, audio, and no, it seems to be pretty much a normal, normal amounts. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining things. Anyway, let's continue here, and there is our shop. I hope that we can, well, I don't know if I really want to find uh, one of the weapons in there, because I don't think I'd be able to afford it, because the M14 is like 400, and the rocket launch is like 350, neither of which are amounts that I'm very likely to find on the first floor, so I'd rather hope that maybe there isn't very much in there that I spend much money on, and then I find one of the weapons on the next floor, just so I can relax and stop having to worry about that. Nevertheless, this room is over, and we will now head into the shop and find out what what bounty awaits us. It is Mega Bullets, and I could get you. Oh my God, that actually is an M14. I actually didn't notice that, but I'm not going to get enough money for it anyway, which sucks. But I will take the Mega Bullets because the damage up is always nice. I could take the Shield Lover, but I don't know if I'll be able to afford it. And honestly, I should probably save money just so that I can actually afford, you know. Um, what am I saying? Oh god, I got backstabbed by this dick. Uh, just so I can afford a weapon on the next floor if it happens to appear. Because, you know, it's it's not impossible to see a weapon again. Like, it's not like an Isaac thing where if you see it once, it's gone out of the rotation or whatever. It seems to appear as many times as it wants to, as much as I hate that when it happens to be the sickle. Which chooses to do that, but nevertheless, uh, I'm hoping to find an M14 or a rocket launcher on the next floor in the shop. So I can afford it, Russell, get the fuck away from me, thank you. Or maybe, you know, one could drop from a mini-boss. I wouldn't be opposed to that either. What do we get here? We got... Uh, rum. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's a good fire rate and a good damage up, etc. Uh, and speed upgrade, of course. And we have Skeleto, which is certainly not my favourite enemy to fight, but... Uh, we have a few bombs, so hopefully it won't be a problem. What the hell happened? What damaged me? I don't actually know. Okay, good. Let's drop some bombs in there. Just to get these spiders the fuck away from me, because I don't really want to to have spiders crawling all over me, because that sounds like some kind of horrendous nightmare from which I would never recover. But he's dying pretty fast, and if I just throw bombs when he spawns the spiders, I should mostly hit them, except I missed those two because I'm a scrub. But other than that, he will now die. And there's still some spiders because he is a dick, basically, and spawn some more before I manage to kill him. But hopefully... I can't... Oh, my God! Okay, sorry if that was an eardrum moment there, but... Uh... <laughs> that scared me because through my sort of barrage of of neon bullets, the spider crawled really close to me and scared the crap out of me. Anyway, we picked up uh, floating bombs there, which is not really the best upgrade, but um, we'll just move on and hope to find a weapon in this shop. I mean, the chances of me not finding it at all seems unlikely. There's two weapons that I want and there's a lot of shops, although it does potentially mean I may have to um, 
go to shops on some later floors when normally I'd prefer to speedrun the game because there's literally no point in me beating the game with this weapon because I've already done that already done that and it you know it, it doesn't it doesn't accomplish anything so why would I why would I do that you know is there a moth in here yes there is that was uh, a little bit scary but oh okay hello there I did not know that you were still alive and we will now move into another room this room seems fine we're pretty powerful to be honest like this is probably the most powerful I've been this early on in terms of actually having picked up some upgrades like rum and uh, mega bullets that's two damage ups a speed up health down which kind of sucks but you know I can I can probably live with that especially on these early floors I'm not really taking a whole heck of a lot of damage just because these early floors are relatively easy now oh god I took some damage there because basically the game wants to make me look like a complete idiot I suspect the rooms are going to get a lot harder because in the next patch as well as adding things like arrow traps to make the game just that much more of a bitch, uh, I think the actual game is overall being... The, 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 the characters are being nerfed as well. Although apparently lava rooms are being nerfed, which sounds nice. But yeah, the characters being nerfed is a little bit scary, although I guess it kind of make, kind of makes sense because there's more there's more upgrades. Oh, good God, that, I can't believe that didn't hit me. But yeah, there's going to be um, more upgrades being added to the game, which is also cool. Uh, this is going to be double jump. I'm probably not going to bother fighting that just yet, although it's nice to know I can get a reasonable amount of money out of that room if I need it for the shop, which I'm hoping to find pretty soon, because so far I haven't seen anything other than the boss, and I would like to find the other rooms first if I can. Why does the music seem so loud? I don't know. And also there's homing bullets chasing me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. This moss should die. Thank you. Let's just run to the middle of the room like an idiot that I nearly got hit as a result and the powder keg will finish off that moth which is always a good thing uh, yeah there's nothing no other coins in here I don't believe so let's move on a couple of gileads probably one moth not the hardest room in the world let's take out the powder keg maybe that might make him die a bit faster I'm not sure if it really helped but it was worth a try nevertheless hmm I'm not sure which direction the boss uh, not the boss I know where the boss is I'm not sure which direction the shop is going to be in but I'm going to continue my kind of flawed hypothesis that going into rooms that only connect to one thing has a greater chance of finding the room I'm looking for and the shop actually is right there so I feel somewhat justified even though I'm sure this one piece of anecdotal evidence is far from sufficient to prove my quit my case but nevertheless I will take it as a good sign anyway can we find a weapon in here that I'm looking for? Maybe, hopefully. No, we cannot. We do find a magnet, and then I will get grind a little bit more money and pick up that kiss of death, I suppose, just because, good lord, this is damage ups. Apparently, this run is... Uh, the theme of this run is damage ups, is what I'm trying to say there. If I can only phrase it like someone who actually speaks English and not like some kind of... I don't know how to finish that sentence without being offensive, so I'm just going to end it there. Anyway, this moth will die, and then we have a mini boss. I guess I'll go back and get the kiss of death before fighting the mini boss, just because it will speed things up slightly. But I'm a little bit concerned that we haven't found a weapon, but I guess this is only shop number two of like seven or whatever, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I'm gonna feel like a real scrub. Like, it's gonna feel really cheap if I find a weapon on like the last floor, and I literally just kill Dahlia with it, but you know, if that's the hand the game deals me, then that's what I have to that's what I have to deal with. I can't I can't make it give me a weapon any sooner than that, and it will still count because I'll still have beat the game with that weapon. That was kind of scary because that guy was right in the corner, and I almost walked into him because I didn't expect him to be in that corner. Okay, a little bit concerned about all these homing shots flying around my face. Please don't hit me. Thank you. And this guy's dying incredibly quickly, although I think I did just take a hit there, but we can probably live with that. That's not really the end of the world. He will die now, and he has dropped what I believe is Adderall, which is very nice. I'm certainly not going to complain about that. That's a nice speed upgrade, and we're now moving nice and fast. I guess I'll do this room just because why the hell not? Let's get some more money just because I can. Everything is dying pretty damn quickly at this point. Um, so we should get through the game relatively fast. I just really hope to find the M14 or the rocket launcher because, as I've said many times, that is basically the point of what I'm trying to achieve here. I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that we haven't fought Dobie just because I now don't really have many options in order to gain health. My only hope is hands and, um, what's it called? Spinach. Those are the only things now which I think can give me health upgrades. So that's a little bit scary, but uh, I should be able to beat the game on this amount of health because I am, I'd say I'm pretty good at this game right now. I don't, I don't want to sound like a dick. I don't want to sound like some big-headed cunt, but uh, yes, apparently we're cunting now. Apologies if that word offends you. I'm not really sure why I said that, but uh, yeah. Anyway, um, I, from what I've seen, and I can't really say this without sounding like a complete arsehole, but 
I think I'm probably one of the best Let's Players of this game out there. From what, from what I've seen, just from the amount that I've achieved in this game. Maybe not from a skill level. Maybe you could argue it's more luck than skill. I certainly wouldn't disagree with that necessarily. But I think only Biznap at this point has kind of achieved more in this game than I have. And, you know, he did it in patch 1.4, which was considerably harder. And I didn't really, I wasn't really playing the game long enough to be good enough at that point to beat it with all the weapons. Uh, but I've done it in this patch, and I don't know of anybody else that's really achieved this. And I'm sure there's Let's Players out there which I don't know about, and they probably have done it. But of the of the group that I know, I'm, I'm, I'd say I'm one of the best Let's Players. And uh, I'm sure somebody's going to listen to this and think I sound like a dick. And you might not be entirely wrong, but uh, what the hell. Uh, let's get away from that. Oh god, I took damage from something. I'm not entirely sure what it was. Let's just... Oh god, good, 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 god, good god. Good god. I forgot how to speak English for a moment there because I got very, very scared. If this guy would please blow up without blowing up my face, that would be appreciated. Appreciated? A appreciated, maybe, if I speak proper English, but let's face it. That's probably a lost course at this point. But this room is pretty much over. This is probably one of the easiest times I've actually had. In, in completing this room because uh, I actually have really good damage for once and normally that room takes me quite a long time. Uh, I guess I'll come in here because why the ball's not? I nearly got caught on the stairs. Well, I did get caught on the stairs there, but it nearly cost me some health. But unfortunately, I mean, luckily, it didn't. Apparently, I don't know what I'm actually saying today. Let's just kill these Gileads nice and easy. There's a bomb dude there who will die and that thing just leaves the moth who should go down. Pretty damn quickly, and I barely... Oh, good god, there's another bomb guy. I barely avoided that uh, homing shot there. I'm not actually sure how I did avoid it, but I seem to do it nonetheless. Uh, I guess we'll go this way now. I'm trying to avoid the, la the lava rooms if I can, even though lava rooms on this floor aren't that scary. I'll still rather avoid potentially doing something stupid and taking damage in one. So if I don't have to go in the lava room, I certainly won't go in the lava room. I was also shooting at the lampshade there because I thought it was a moth. Uh, please go away, bomb dude. Thank you. This guy will die now, and then there should be a Gilead, yes. Oh god, I managed to take a hit. I'm not quite sure how, but I did. Uh, let's go into here. This is a lava room. Can I see anything? No, okay. Let's not go that way then, just because I don't really want to go into lava rooms. This room is not a lava room, so let's go in here. Oh wow, those guys actually kind of like sizzle or hiss or something before they explode. A little bit like a creeper or something out of Minecraft. I've never actually noticed that before, probably because I've never really had the sound on very loud, although it's not really on much louder today than normal, but apparently my ears can hear it more or something, so it feels like it's louder. Uh, this room is entirely pointless to come into, so I probably actually shouldn't have bothered, but uh, I didn't really think about it. I'm just going to come in here because fuck everything. Okay, a little, little bit of a circular dodge there, and all is good. I guess I'll come into here now as well. Okay, managed to deal with those rooms fairly effectively. And um, what do we have in here? Another one of these rooms, okay. Oh god, I managed to blow that guy from my face, which is never good. And that also sounds a little bit more sexual than I intended, but nevertheless, we will move on and just forget about that. There's a moth up there. Oh god, I'm taking hits. That's not good. I should hopefully kill the moth. There we go. And then deal with the Gileads. I still haven't found anything on this floor, which is basically terrible. Oh, there's the mini boss. Good. And there's the boss. Okay, this is a good room. This is a very good room. Oh god! Okay, things are exploding, things are happening, and I'm a little bit scared. Uh, Gilead, please. Okay, I've managed to take a hit, apparently. And bomb guy! Uh, okay, just move out the way of all the things, and don't get hit, because, you know, then maybe you'll sing. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, alright, good, good. Now just deal with this last remaining guy. He should die relatively easily, and we got some armor out of that, which is good, because I lost him in that room. Let's go deal with our mini boss who is the squid who is an oh god nice and easy and he will die fast as long as he doesn't manage to run into me well that won't stop him dying fast but it may not mean I take damage and I'd really rather not come on squid you uh, squid bastard okay thank you please die please die yeah okay what did you drop oh my god that's beautiful what is it about starting with the Gilead gun that gives me amazing drops the last time I had this gun I had like so many good drops as well Oh, hello, Squid. You're going to give me another speed up. Good God, I'm going to be fast. Okay, not Squid, Octopus, whatever. Whatever, Omni. That's your name, isn't it? Yes, it is. You're going to get pretty large before this room's over, so uh, I'm hoping to maybe hide out here and not get hit. Although you do keep firing bullets. There we go. You are now dead. I will now pick up Omni's tentacle. 
and we'll continue looking for the shop because I really need to find another weapon that's not the Gilead gun and isn't any of the guns I've already used. Uh, what I'm trying to say is I need to find the M14 or the rocket launcher and there is the shop. So please, please have one of these weapons in it. Grenade launcher, shotgun, spinach, you son of a bitch. Alright, we'll take the spinach for the extra health and then I guess we'll just move on because there's not much point in staying on this floor. There was two weapons but neither of them are the weapons I need so screw you game, screw you. Nevertheless, let's just, uh, let's move on here. We're extremely fast now, which is good. Not only does it facilitate better dodging, but it allows me to traverse the floor just generally faster when I'm backtracking and looking for things. And there's a mini-boss immediately, which is pretty exciting. Oh, good god. Okay. That was not, uh, what I was expecting there. I forgot that skulls were gonna spawn, and then I nearly ran into them, but, uh, I think we, we got away with it. Nothing too bad happened. I think I just blew up some of them there. Fire a chain reaction of the bomb frogs. Which is always a good thing, and that skull will die, and there's one more thing left in this room, it was just one of these guys. He should be no trouble. There we go, and we'll go fight a minibus straight away. Please drop me one of these weapons that I need. That would be greatly appreciated if you would, if you would be so kind. I don't like this minibus very much, just because I hate trying to deal with moths. But it hopefully shouldn't be too much of a problem. My fire rate is kind of ridiculous right now, and once again I'm concerned that I may need to put some kind of epilepsy warning on this video, but uh, uh, if you're having some kind of seizure, then I apologise. <laughs> I suppose is about all I can all I can really say. Please die, Moth. Thank you. And now for the big dude. He shouldn't be too much problem. If I just stand in the corner, I don't think he can hit me. Maybe he can hit me. I'm an idiot, but whatever. He will now die. Yes, thank you. What did you drop? Oh my god, the blowfish. Alright, well, this is one of the most fantastic runs I've ever had at this game. This is kind of ridiculous at this point, quite honestly. But I'm not complaining, it's it's awesome. Everything is just dying in a ridiculous spray of bullets, and I love it. I get quite bloodlusty when I, when I get powerful at this game, and I just enjoy watching things die. Which, if you're listening to this and you're in some kind of position of authority, please don't come and arrest me. I am not being serious. Bomb frogs, please, please get hit by bullets and die if you would be so kind. Thank you. My game stuttered for a second there. I don't know if the audio, if the recording will pick that up. Uh, in here. Oh god, a room full of skulls. Room full of skulls. This is, oh god, I'm taking hits, which is silly. However, they should now die. I've got them into a position where they shouldn't be too much of a problem. I always do that when I come into this room. I, I dodge in like a bad way. And I'm not, haven't yet worked out because I don't see this room often enough. I haven't yet worked out how not to do that, but uh, it's not too much of a problem. Okay, there is our boss. It is through a lava room, which I'd really rather not go into. But, I oh, that's the shop as well. Okay, so if I go this way, and then into the shop. No, that's still not going to take me to the boss, is it? Okay, I may have to go through that lava room, which kind of scares me a little bit, to be completely honest with you. But hopefully we can find a way to make it work, and we won't lose too much health in the process. There will be schools in there, most likely, which is kind of the most concerning part of it. I need to basically dodge the Gilead and the Skulls without falling in the lava, which is never really fun, and it's always kind of difficult and hard. And yeah, okay, let's go into the shop. What do we have? We have... Da, 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 da. Nothing that I need yet again. Okay, well, let's take the horseshoe for extra loot. And we'll take an armor box. Why the hell not? Let's just get this lava room over and done with. Okay, just... There we go. There we go. Yes, nicely done. Dealt with effectively. Okay, okay. Is this room actually over? No, there's still a moth remaining. Where is it? It's down here somewhere. I've actually managed to do that room without taking damage. I'm fairly impressed with myself right now. Let's go fight the boss. It is hands. Okay, that's good. I'm going to get more health out of this, which is something I, I kind of needed, really. And he should die relatively quickly to my level of uh, damage and the poison and everything else. And hopefully he won't spawn many chainsaws, because those are the only thing that really do damage to me in this fight. His shooting is like the worst shooting, like he fires three bullets that have no chance of hitting you. And as long as you have enough speed, then, oh good lord, okay, I managed to take a hit there, I think, I'm not quite sure how. But yeah, the chain tools are the only really worrying thing, and now I have eight health and 16 armor, which is kind of insane. Anyway, let's move on to what I believe is now going to be the Nazi floors. So I'm a little bit concerned, because I still don't have flip-flops, and there's lots of nasty acid rooms. But hopefully we can find uh, a shop relatively easily. Okay, this room is not much of a problem. I've managed to take damage instantly, however, because I'm an idiot. And again, because I just had to charge those Gileads, really. But this acid room is not too much trouble. 
even though I did manage to take damage. Is that Ganguses? Oh yeah, of course there's Ganguses. I don't know why I didn't think there was Ganguses. I thought they didn't, they weren't on the first Nazi floor for some reason, but of course they are. I'm just an idiot. Ganguses shouldn't be too much trouble with this gun, however, just because of the ridiculous spray of bullets that it presents. Although I haven't managed to hit him yet, so maybe I'm about to eat my own words. Uh, come on, Ganguses, please, just please die. Okay, thank you. Right. Uh, a shock as soon as possible would certainly be a good thing. Uh, I guess we'll come into here. Why the hell not? This room isn't going to be too much trouble. There's only really Gangus and Gileads, I believe, in here. I managed to blow up that powder keg, but unfortunately it didn't kill him. Please don't blaze that up. Thank you. There's only one Gilead in here. Okay, that's nice and easy. Oh, there's a mini boss. That's good. Please drop one of the weapons I want. Just please do this. You've done this to me before when I don't want them. You've dropped them when I don't want them. So please drop them when I do want them. Just, just do that for me. Okay, this is Russell again, because again, Lil Lilith is not in the game yet, although she should... I say it's she. I assume it's a she, but I don't actually know. But yeah, she should be in the next patch, because uh, that's one of the things Mike has on his to-do list. And we got an armor box. We have 21 armor. This is crazy. Okay, Spager. Spager should be relatively easy to deal with. Just deal with all his uh, spider... spider kegs? No, spider eggs. I almost said spider kegs. Well, I did say spider kegs, but I mean... I said it on purpose because I almost said it by accident. Okay, that's all the spider eggs dealt with, I think, now. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. So now he should die relatively easy. Throw a few bombs in there to deal with his young. And we're going to get some damage up and some more poison for this, which is always nice. I'm going to continue to look for the shop, however, because I do need to find one of these weapons that I'm looking for. Otherwise, it kind of invalidates this entire run. And that would be... Oh, good God, I'm in lava! I'm in lava! I'm in lava! Oh my God, this is bad! Okay, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. I'm, I don't know how that happened, but that scared the crap out of me. I hate this room as well, this is like the hardest room to deal with Genghis in. Okay, okay. I've got to be in lava again, I'm in lava again, I'm in lava again, I'm in lava again. Stop taking so much damage, you fool! Oh, come on. Come on. Just get him. Oh my god, I'm in lava. Oh my god, get out of the lava! <sighs> okay. That was really scary. And really bad. I should be careful not to do stupid things like that again. That was so dumb. <laughs> that was incredibly silly. Uh, this room doesn't look too hard. Let's come into here. I really want to find the shop. Just, like, soon. Please. Just find a shop and, you know, don't take hours in doing it. Because otherwise you risk taking lots of damage. And potentially ruining your, ruining your run. You're down from, like... 20-something armor to 15. It was like, what, 21 or something like that? Maybe more? I can't really remember. It was a lot, put it that way. And I lost lots in that room because I'm basically an idiot. But hey. Uh, there's nothing really useful in there. It's just going to lead me to this room, which I can get to without going through there. So why would I go in there? Okay, another one of these rooms. That's fine. I have a feeling I may have to go through another lava room, which scares me. But I'm, uh, but I'm hoping that it's not a difficult one. Pretty much that one with when you can't strafe the walls is basically the worst one. All the rest aren't quite so bad, but that one really is a problem. Uh, which room is this? Is this the room that I just tried to avoid, or is this the room that I just tried to avoid? I've completely lost my sense of direction. Okay, this room is the room with shit in it that I don't want to deal with, so I'm going to go into this room. Alright, this room shouldn't be too difficult. I don't really like those action rooms at all. They're, okay, I've managed to blow myself up, that's good. But yeah, I don't like those action rooms at all. They're a real problem. Even though I do have double jumps, so they're not like the worst thing in the world, I still would rather avoid them if I can, because they're actually one of the harder rooms in the game. You don't see them very often, so you kind of forget that, but they're actually harder than some acid rooms, even. I think just the moths remain in this room, so let's now deal with those. Please die. You have to be there somewhere. I actually can't see you at all. There we go. Make sure the homing shots aren't following me, and then go this way, I suppose, because it's the only real way I can go. And this is, in fact, a lava room. In fact, it's the lava room that cost me lots of damage last time, so this really scares me. There we go, I'm in the lava again, good. I'm going like, to lose lots of health here. I need to somehow get these guys to come at me in a way that I can actually hit them, because I can't circle strafe around this tight of a space and still manage to hit them. Please kill them with something. I really wish I had sticky bombs right now, just so that I could... Where are they? There they are. Oh my god, this room's a problem. This room is a real problem, and now I'm in the lava again. Thank you. This is so good. I'm losing so much health. I love this, and I still haven't even killed one of them. I fucking hate this room. Okay, there we go. Just, good lord, I hate that room. It's such a bad room. Please nerf that room. It's a horrible room. 
It's awful and dreadful and terrible and bad and evil. But we're done with it now. I'm now down to 9 armor, which is a little bit more concerning. But I need to find this shop because I need to find one of these weapons. It must happen. This must occur. Please let this happen. Please, Gangus. Please die. How have you not died yet? How are you avoiding all of these bullets? This is impossible. Seriously? There we go. Right, can I see the shop through here? No. Can I see the shop through here? Yes, okay, good. Please, please have one of these weapons. I need it. I need it. Please. All right. I think there's just, okay, there's a couple of things left. We shouldn't be too much trouble, 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 trouble. Gangus, please, please die. Oh my god, you died. Okay, thank you. Deal with the moth, and deal with that guy, and then now please, just something that I need. Please. <gasps> we have a rocket launcher! Holy shit, yes! Okay, I'd like to get that winged foot as well if I can, so I'm actually going to grind up a little bit more money on this floor, unless I have to go into acid rooms. But yes, we have the rocket launcher. This run is not redundant! Okay, I completely missed that. That's good. I wonder how many shots it takes to kill a Gilead. It looks like two. Although they do one and then poison seems to do it. I'm not very used to using the, the rocket launcher. I haven't used it in a long time, so you're going to have to bear with me here. Gangus is a little bit of a problem with it, but I think I'm fast enough to actually get away. Okay, there we go. He died. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Oh god, that moth nearly managed to get me there. Please take a rocket to the face. Thank you very much. Uh, a couple more rooms. Hopefully we can afford the... Uh, I don't want to deal with that room at all. I may just skip the winged foot at this rate. But we'll see. You never know. It could, things could still happen. Okay, that's really nice. I dealt with those gangsters really quickly. That guy will now die from poison. And I'm so close. I need to do like one more room. Okay, let's just do this room. Let's just get on with it. Oh, good lord, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? I don't know, I'm, but I'm stuck. Okay, I managed to take a hit there, which is bad. I managed to hit that moth directly, which is quite impressive. I actually didn't think that that would work. I lost like one hit in here. It's probably worth it to get the winged foot because it's a good, really good speed upgrade. And there's a Gangus, which I'd like to kill if I can, please. There we go. Okay, right. Let's go pick up the winged foot and then get the fuck out of here because that's, I think, I don't really need to do anything else on this floor. I'm just going to be taking unnecessary damage at this point. But I'm really happy that I found the rocket launcher. That takes one weapon off my to-do list. And then it's only the M14, and I feel like I'm going to do loads of videos and not find it, and I'm going to hate everything. But anyway, that's the winged foot. We're now going exceedingly fast, which is good for the rocket launcher, because you need to be able to keep away from your own shots. You're probably more likely to damage yourself with your own shots than you are with, perhaps, enemies when you're using the rocket launcher, which is the downside to its extreme power. Uh, here we go. Right, down. This now will be the sixth floor, I believe. And uh, then... I, I just want to rush the boss now at this point, quite honestly. I don't really have anything else to do. Uh, we're now going to start seeing Mike and Travis, of course, which uh, I will hopefully be able to kill nice and easily with this thing. Uh, everything is apparently dying. The skull is kind of a problem, but I think I got him with a direct hit there. And this room is not over because Mike and Travis are there, but they should die, yeah, to one rocket and a bit of poison. Is there a boss through here? No, but there is a room that's not too difficult, so we'll guess we'll come into here. That should kill both the Gileads. Nice, nice, good work. I really like this weapon, you know. I, I haven't used it, like, since patch 1.4, I don't think. I think this is actually my first time using it in this patch, and I think it got buffed. Plus, I have a bunch of damage ups, and just generally everything is pretty awesome. If we get lucky, we'll fight Banshee on this floor, which may just give me enough uh, damage to one-shot Gileads, which will be nice for the last floor, because... If it takes me a long time to fight Dahlia, I could end up going through some some nasty rooms in the process. So I'd like to have, you know, as, as much damage as possible just to facilitate that being easy. And of course, the Nazis are always a problem. So, uh, okay, that guy blew up at the perfect time in order to kill the other guy. And yeah, this room isn't difficult. We'll come into here. Everything should die. Gangus is included. Oh, come on. Come on. Just take a rock. Stop dodging these rockets, please. Oh my god, such a pro dodger. Oh god, I'm in a room. Okay, I've already been in this room. I hate doing that, good god, that scares the shit out of me every time. Okay, this room shouldn't be too much trouble. Okay, just be careful with how you're dodging here. Okay, just tag these guys once each with a rocket and they will die from poison. I have a pretty good rate of fire, which is nice. I'm not sure how this weapon's going to work on Dahlia. 
but I imagine the splash damage... Oh my god, I'm stuck! Okay, I don't know why I was stuck there. I imagine the splash damage versus Dahlia would be very nice, and it will allow me to damage her as well as taking out her minions that she summons. And that's the end of that room. What do we have through here? A, a lava room that I'd really rather not deal with. Uh, and I don't think I have to deal with it, although I may have to deal with it, potentially. Let's, let's hope not. Okay, this is scary. Okay, that's, that room started off, started off badly, but uh, it's now, I think, okay. There's a lot of skulls, which should all die in relative ease, because the splash damage will take out lots of them in one go. Please, just to hit the Skanguses. Oh my god, I hate it when they go under the floorboards. Stop hiding under the floorboards, you're not Anne Frank! Although she was hiding above the floorboards, I guess. She was in this attic or something, but uh, nevertheless... <laughs> That's actually quite an appropriate reference, considering the whole Nazi theme of this game. Oh my god, seriously, Gangas, just fuck off. Just, just, please die. Oh, there's a miniboss here, which I've only just realised. Oh, there's still, a, there's still a Gilead as well. Okay, there's one. Oh my god, you scumbag. No, 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 no. Get off the lava. Get off the acid, whatever it's called. Just get off it. Oh my god, Gangas. Okay. Oh my god, Gangas. Oh my god, Gangus, please get the fuck away. Thank you. Okay, I took damage there, which was unnecessary. Okay, there's the boss as well, which is excellent. Uh, I'm probably not going to go for the shop on this floor in that case then. Um, I just had a text on my phone. Thank you, Domino's, for interrupting my video. Although you do make nice pizzas, so I guess I can probably forgive you. I'm not doing... Uh, okay, I'm doing a lot of damage. I'm doing, like, a bar of this guy's health per hit, pretty much, which is pretty, pretty good. Okay, that guy will die, and we will pick up... What is this? Oh my god! Wow! That's insane! I didn't realise that was a mystery box and it gave me the best fucking thing it could have given me at this point. Alright. This is indeed Banshee as I thought it might be, which will give me another bit of damage. And at this point, I'm pretty confident now because we just picked up flip-flops. And that was kind of the only thing I was really worried about. Let's throw some bombs out there just to kind of speed this up a bit. Although I think most of them may have missed, but never mind. This guy's actually pretty hard to hit with the rocket launcher, it turns out, because he's got a very small hitbox. And, as you can see, all my rockets keep sailing past him. Please hit him without hitting yourself. That's not too much trouble. I'm just going to hold down the button and kind of spray him with the rockets if, if I can manage that. Okay, this is going a little bit better now. My concern is that he can get close to me very quickly and I can potentially hit myself with rockets that way. And I'd really rather avoid doing that if at all possible. He should die for one more rocket. Okay, good. Right. Pick up Banshee Scream and head down to the last floor. Good God, there were still homing bullets chasing me, which I didn't even realise. Now the strategy is basically just fucking find Dahlia as soon as you possibly fucking can. So, peek into every room and as soon as you find the boss, just go for it. Uh, I don't really want to go into there, that looks like a bad thing all around and I don't think it even leads anywhere. I also don't want to go into there, so I guess I'm going to go into this room first. There is now Nazis who are dying in one hit. Wow, that's insane. Yep, yeah, Gilead's are now dying in one hit. Alright then, well, this is pretty goddamn amazing. The rocket launcher is extremely powerful when you get all the upgrades for it, it seems. Which shouldn't surprise you, I guess. I mean, it is a fucking rocket launcher. Oh god, Gangus, where the fuck did you come from? That scared the shit out of me. Alright. There's a thing that's going to happen in the next patch, which concerns me greatly, by the way. And that is the fact that the, the enemies that Dahlia spawns will no longer drop health. Or anything. Which is fucking terrifying, because that fight is really hard. Okay, there's a mini boss, so I'm gonna. Oh my god! Oh, okay, I may have just broken the game. Uh, I may I may have broken the game. Okay, all right. I'm not sure what just happened, but it worked. All right, let's go fight a mini boss because that should be easy at this point in the game, quite honestly. Wow, I'm doing a bar and a half of this guy, bar and a half of this guy's health with every shot. This guy's going to die from poison damage, then we just need to deal with these mage things. People call them Jimbobways, and I'm not sure if I understand the reference. It's probably something that I should understand the reference to, and everyone's going to hate me for not understanding the reference to, but, uh, yeah. Okay, I don't really like coming through here, but I want to see if I can see the boss through any of these rooms. Any sign? Let's just come in here, this room doesn't look too difficult. Okay, with some... I can't tell you how good it is to kill Nazis in one hit, by the way, oh my god, Gilead! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! Oh my god, that was really scary. I don't know what happened, I got caught against that Gilead, and I don't think I took as much damage as I was expecting to. I'm not sure if he was actually able to hit me. That Nazi will die in one hit, which is always a nice thing to see. 
Oh my god, please. Please, Ganga, stop dodging. There we go. Uh, boss through here, maybe? No? Okay, what about through here? Boss through here? It doesn't look like it. Okay, what about through here? Uh, this is a lava room, although I do have flip-flops. So that's not really a concern. Uh, I don't really know where to go. I guess I'll go into here. Because this room, hopefully... Yeah, this is the room that I just fought. It shouldn't be too difficult. Especially when I can one-shot these Nazis. Let's not get stuck there again like I did last time. Because, you know... That would be very bad. Uh, this room could still lead to the boss, actually. I didn't realise there was a room uh, directly in front of it. I guess the door was blocked by the stairs, so I couldn't see it. If this Gangus will please just take a rocket... <clears throat> Then we can get out of here sooner rather than later. Oh my god, please hit him. Did that miss him? Yes, that did. Oh my god. Alright, welcome back to me missing every fucking enemy in the game with a rocket launcher. Please, please. Oh my god, this is insane. This is getting ridiculous now. How can I still be missing? Seriously? There we go. Now please hit the skulls. Okay, I instantly hit the skulls apparently. Uh, let's see what is through here. Okay, we have a shop. That's probably worth it. Okay, things are dying on the, on the, uh, on the, uh, what do you call them? The axes, which is a good thing for me. D less work for me to do. Please, Gangus, thank you. And now they think there's just a moth left. Okay, right. Let's head into the shop and see if there's actually anything useful in here. There's a Gilead gun, which I don't want. There's a spring, which I may as well take. And the shield lever, which I may as well take. But I still haven't found the boss, which is concerning. And this is a very long floor, like, in terms of... Not long as in length of time, but long as in there's a lot of rooms connected end to end. I don't know how to describe this. Just look at the fucking map, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, I don't really know where to go at this point. Let's just run through the middle of here like a madman. Okay, that worked out. I'm going to go the other way because I feel like the game's trolling me at this point and that the boss is just going to be here. Okay, this was the room that I looked at in at the start and I knew was pointless to come into and now I've walked into it because I'm basically an idiot. But nevertheless, it was dealt with very quickly. I'm just going to start going into rooms. Screw it. My peeking technique is really not helping me here because I haven't seen anything yet. So I'm just going to start going into rooms and, you know, hoping for the best. I should be powerful enough to take them out pretty easily, I think, at this point. So I think I'm one-shotting literally everything. So, yeah, I shouldn't have too many worries. Oh, God, homing shots. Thank you for hitting me. That made me look like an idiot. I just sort of stopped walking. And got hit as a result. Okay, we'll come into here. Although this room doesn't leave me anywhere useful either. It's not a very difficult room though, so I shouldn't really have too much trouble with it. Saying that, I shouldn't have too much trouble with lots of things that I end up having trouble with. Nazi, please die. Seriously, not Seriously, Nazi. Seriously. Seriously. Seriously, how did that not kill you? Goddamn Nazis. They never want to die. A fucking immortal. Nazi, take a fucking rocket to the face! Oh my god, the scumbag. There we go, right. Let's just continue clearing this floor out because honestly at this point I may as well. None of these rooms have led me anywhere useful and I could have told that, I could have foreseen this if I looked into them and, and seen that, but I got lazy and just started going into rooms. It hasn't worked out too badly for me, let's be honest. I'm not struggling too badly for health or whatever, so... I probably stopped complaining about it, but it's still irritating. Oh, come on. Okay, that was a direct hit. That was a good shot. Please. Oh, my God. This Gangus, his moves are so unpredictable. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. There we go, right. I feel like none of these rooms are going to be useful, and I've just been wasting my time. Uh, yeah, that's entirely true. None of these rooms are useful, and I have just wasted my time. But hey, whatever, we got a bunch of money which I don't need to spend, so that's a good thing, right? <laughs> right, deal with that guy, and that room is over. I guess we'll start on the other side of the floor now. And we'll head into this room. Okay, this room also leads me nowhere useful. This is a really weird floor layout. I've not really seen this before, and I just blew myself up because I'm good at this game. I'm apparently going to clear out the entire last floor, which is, I, I guess, interesting. I'd really just like to find Dahlia and beat her. What have I not killed? Oh, Mike and Travis over there. Alright, good. 
And now we'll head into... Yeah, this lava room doesn't scare me now because I have flip-flops. That's most of the gangs is dead in one shot. And I got a bunch of armor out of that, which is always nice. Please die. Please die to my rockets, you motherfucking dickhead. Do -do 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 oh god, homing shots, okay. There's still a gang that's chasing me, which is irritating. Just please hit them off. Thank you. Where's this Gangus? There he is. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, how did that not kill you? How are these things not killing you? They're rockets, how are you not dying to them? Just spam him with goddamn rockets, this son of a bitch. Alright, I hit the powder keg and that killed him, apparently. Uh, let's go this way, just because, yeah, why not? Alright, this way was kind of a waste of time. Not entirely a waste of time, I suppose, but not necessarily not a waste of time. It really depends if the room that it connects to actually leads me anywhere. It may have been an easier room to do than the uh, the other option that I had, though. Alright. Alright, deal with this room. Oh god, I managed to take a hit. Which is not good, but it's not really the end of the world. I only have six armor left now, which is not scary, but it's enough to concern me. If I fuck up majorly in a couple of rooms before I find the boss, it's enough to potentially cause me problems. Is there a Gilead left somewhere? Or is there just Ganguses under the floorboards again? Yeah, there's a Gangus. Alright. I have flip-flops, actually. I can just I can just walk on the floor. And that'll make this considerably easier. Although he will still be a douchebag. Oh god, I managed to blow myself up. Good lord, that was stupid. Oh my god, Gangus. Please, just die. Gangus. 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 There we go, thank you. And we'll go this way, I suppose. Maybe the boss will be in here? Yes, it will. Okay, good. Right, this is... We're closing in on victory for Mother Russia or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's deal with the moths. All right. Okay. Okay. There was a lot of... I'm not sure if they were homing shots chasing me. Yes, they're definitely homing shots chasing me. All right, then. Okay, that's the gangs is dead. Now just to deal with the skulls. Please hit the skulls. Please hit the... Okay, there's still a moth left, which I didn't actually realise. Let's just... Oh, come on. There we go. There's one. Oh, come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. Right then, Dahlia. Your time is coming to an end. How much damage am I doing to her? That's a pretty good amount, actually. Let's just spam some bombs in there as well to speed things up. Okay, she spawned the skulls, which is not ideal. Oh god, my frame rate, my frame rate has dropped very, very largely. That's actually the first time I've seen my frame rate drop in this game. Much to my surprise. I did spam lots of bombs, I suppose. Let's just keep doing that. Because who needs frame rate, right? You don't mind watching this at five frames per second? Oh my god, I'm sorry. What have I done? I don't know what I've done. I'm sorry. <laughs> However, she is dying very quickly and I've done a lot of damage. Probably to myself more than anything. But let's face it, it really doesn't matter at this point. I have actually used up all my bombs, which is good. I normally end up having lots left over, which feels like a waste because I really don't need them. And there is Dahlia dead, and now we just deal with the last remaining spiders, and then we can say that we have completed this game now with the rocket launcher as well. And that just leaves the M14, which I feel like is going to be irritatingly hard to find, because I think it's actually become quite a rare drop these days. But that is the end of this room, and that is the end of the game. Heading down to the next, uh, not to the next floor, heading down to the credit sequence. Which I will, of course, allow to play through, just in case nobody has seen it while I say my... My various outros and goodbyes, and thanks a lot for watching, guys. This was a successful run. I was concerned for a while that I wasn't going to find what I needed, but it happened, and now we only have one, one weapon left to beat the game with, which is very awesome. So uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.